The following pre-recorded program is paid for by Channel Mom Media. The following program is paid for by Channel Mom Media. The show made for moms and families. It's Channel Mom. My name is Jenny, and I'm a mom, but I once lived a more glamorous life as a TV reporter. I was on the nightly news interviewing pop stars and politicians. So when I left TV to become a full-time mother, I quickly found out what we moms are up against. Our world glorifies the rich and famous. For what? I say let's honor the moms who are raising this world's next generation. It's Channel Mom Radio with Jenny Dean Schmidt. We're here for you. Yes, we are here for you. So here for you, even when the rest of the media is not. I don't really want to bash the media too much today because they've got a lot going on with hurricanes and horrible things all over for Americans. And so our thoughts and prayers, of course, are with people down south. But beyond that, I want to welcome you to Channel Mom, the show made for moms and for families. And there's a reason we do it because of the importance of motherhood in America and beyond. I want to welcome you to the show on 94.7 The Word, but also on Facebook Live. Always glad to have our audience there. We're going to talk about something today that if a mom doesn't have it, truly, it can be harmful to her health. And when I discovered this, I thought, oh my gosh, I have to share this with the moms in our audience because I, I don't want to be an alarmist. I don't want to scare you. I actually want you to, to change your life a little because you need to have this thing in it to make your life better. So we're going to look at, I did some research and I have a, a caller who's going to call in today who's who's been in family therapy for 40 years almost. And she's going to call in with a couple of the things that she knows from her research and her years of practice that moms need. I thought I just want to sit down and give moms kind of a list of what they need to make sure they have in their life to be healthy and strong. So there are four things that we're going to talk about. And we may give you a couple bonus ones because moms need a lot because <laughs> they do a lot. So I, I hope you'll stay tuned for that. We're going to get to that in just a second. Um, and it's an encouraging show. We're not going to scare you. Either, you know, the thing that you don't have, you can get fairly easily. So we're not going to scare you. I do want to remind you that I'm wearing this shirt for a reason today. If you can see me on Facebook live, I'm backing away from the mic and losing myself. Um, well, I'm not losing myself, Chad. I'm still here. <laughs> Chad at the controls today. Don Pablo has moved on to another show, not because he didn't like me, just because uh, they needed him. And so Chad has kindly agreed to be here for Channel Mom, and that's an awesome thing. We have Neon Mom's 5K coming up tomorrow, Saturday. But if you're listening on Saturday, this is for you as well. It's happening in a couple of hours. It's a more evening, nighttime race because we glow in the dark by the end. It's the Neon Mom's 5K. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. So if you believe in what Channel Mom does, and let me tell you, as I said at the beginning of the show, there, there's so little media out there that says that a job, mom's job is important. I mean, they're lifting up all kinds of other stuff like, you know, Miley Cyrus and um, corruption and certain political shenanigans and all of that. And they forget to look at the women that are raising the next generation. And so that is why we do the show that we do and the, net, and the media that we do. But we also do a lot of outreach to moms on the ground. I give speeches in churches and at businesses and all over um, the state and even have traveled to other states to do so. But we also are on the ground to help moms in homes, in, in churches, in prisons now. We're starting up a prison program to encourage the moms there because if they give up, their children are likely to repeat what they've done. And if we, they don't give up and if we're there to encourage them and help them and instruct them, uh, they can break the cycle. So we're now reaching out to moms in prisons and to moms in sh shelters. We're trying to, to be in both homeless shelters and shelters for women who've had to suffer through domestic violence. So we're, we're there for every mom that we can find, no matter what color, no matter what politi political background, no matter what, you know, any of it, um, what s status he, she has in society. Um, I, I'm so tired of all the division that you're this and I'm that and you're here and I'm there. None of that matters. We need to support moms because they're raising the next generation. And if we don't support them, what's going to happen to that next generation? So if you believe in what we do, I'd love to see you at the Neon Moms 5K. It is tomorrow evening, 530 at Clement Park. So if you live in Colorado, you can make it. In Littleton, Colorado, Clement Park, Shelter 5. It starts at 530. We don't start running until about 645 because everybody gets a bunch of cool stuff in a swag bag. And part of that is neon and a free T-shirt like the one I'm wearing today on Facebook Live. And uh, you're... Fee to get in the door all goes to the stuff I just said that we're doing for Channel Mom. Without you, we can't stay on the air. We can't reach out to moms on the ground who need our encouragement and our coaching and our instruction. Uh, so I'd be so grateful if you'd show up for the Neon Moms 5K tomorrow, 
530 Littleton, Colorado. We have a ton of sponsors that I'm going to mention later in the show because I'm so grateful to them. We wouldn't be out here without them. Hey, if you want to sign up early instead of just doing so at the gate, you can go to our Facebook page, which is at Channel Mom. You can go to ChannelMom.com and you can find us there as well. And you can go to Race Entry. And the Neon Moms 5K is listened, listed at raceentry.com. I want to get that right. Okay. So now, the tips for what moms really need. We've done some research. And I have, uh, as I said, a licensed family counselor, uh, family therapist, calling in here in a couple minutes because she's got some, some very specific cues that she says that she wants to give moms. But I'm going to start with this one. First of all, self-care. And that sounds so obvious. Don't turn off the radio like, of course, I know I'm supposed to take care of myself. Here's the thing. You need a reminder because so many moms put everything else before themselves. So this is me saying you need to take care of yourself. And that includes everything. That includes saying, okay, I've got to make sure that I get in bed at a certain time so that I can make sure I get, you know, somewhere between six and eight hours. As we age, we don't need as much sleep, but six to eight hours is, is crucial, um, probably a little bit more toward eight. Um, exercise. And here's the thing with, with the buildup to this, this fundraiser, I've had to exercise less and less the last couple of weeks. Uh, but, but if I can set aside and I'm, I, this is a, a tip from me, if I can set aside 10 minutes to go to YouTube and say, find me a 10 minute abs video, abs workout, I'll just do 10 minutes of abs. Or, uh, yesterday I did, I think seven minutes of arms and 10 minutes of butt exercises. <laughs> Just being real. Um, so so just set aside seven minutes if that's all you got. I swear to you, you'll feel better about yourself if you can just fit that in. Just a little bit of exercise for your body and your well-being. And then finally, what you eat. Now, I can, I have no room to preach on this because some days all I'll eat is protein bars and Dr. Pepper. Really bad. But but I urge you to, to set aside at least one meal or you think, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to make sure I have some fruits and vegetables in this meal and some good protein. Um, make sure you do that. And I know that the woman who's running our uh, work, our warm up tomorrow will tell you the same. You know, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, but it's Beth Paradise or Beth Paradies. Anyway, she's going to be there tomorrow. She can give you some wonderful health tips as well. So number one is self-care. Number two, and then this is the study. And if, if you want to see if Mary wants to call us or if she hasn't called us, you could call her, Chad. Um, this is the one that they've discovered that if moms don't have this, they can be putting themselves in danger of poor health. And and here's the thing. UCLA and both UCLA and Stanford studies have proven or confirmed that when a woman does not have girl time, quote unquote, it's as harmful to her health as not exercising or taking up smoking. I was blown away by this because I think sometimes we don't we don't want to, you know, concentrate on Ourselves, period. I mean, that's the reason I gave you the advice to, to give some self-care. But the other the other thing is that I think we think, ah, the, the girlfriend thing can go away if I don't have time. I love my girlfriends, but I just don't have time to get together. So uh, I just want to tell you that studies have proven it. Not that we always have to rely on university studies, but both UCLA and Stanford have found that girls need, women need women time. So get together with your girlfriend, set aside time because it makes you healthier. And if you don't do it, it's as bad as taking up smoking or not exercising. I was blown away by that. Now, I will confess that I live way up in the mountains, and literally about 10 of my friends have moved away in the last couple of years. So I now rely on my 14-year-old, almost 15-year-old daughter as my girlfriend time. And some people would say, that's backwards parenting. You shouldn't make your daughter your girlfriend. But it, do, do what you have to do. She and I hang out a lot, and she provides me an anti-cancer treatment by being with her. I am greatly blessed. Okay. I'm going to bring on the expert now. Uh, These are my tips, and I did some research, and I'm going to give you some more research later in the show because I've got some fabulous um, additional tips for what moms need. I I hope every mom listens to the show and and writes it down so on a daily basis she can remind herself and maybe remind her family, like, hey, look, I need these things. I need your support in this way. Or you have to remind me to make, hey, mom, have you exercised today? Or whatever it is, to, to make sure that you can be the best mom you can be. This isn't just about you. This is about your whole family. If you take care of yourself, then your family gets taken care of. Mary Morgan, who's coming up right now, she said to me when we were talking about doing this show, she said, it's the oxygen mask principle. If you don't pull the oxygen mask down for yourself in the airplane, if things are going wrong, you can't turn and take care of your family because you've got no oxygen and you'll pass out and then your family perishes. So, so you need to take care of yourself so you can take care of your family. And that's what we're trying to help you do today. Okay. Mary Morgan is on the phone. She's a licensed family counselor and marriage and family therapist. She's been in the business for almost 40 years. She knows what she's talking about. Mary, welcome to Channel Mom. What do moms need? 
Hi, Jenny. You know what I think moms need the most of? They need encouragement and affirmation. And I'll tell you why. Because as moms, we encourage our children all day long from the time we're getting them up out of bed until the time that we're tucking in them at night. We are being aware of them, of their needs, of their behaviors, of their conversation, and we encourage, 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 and we affirm, affirm, affirm until we become empty. So yeah. I, I really think that that's what moms need. They do. And, and, and I want to expand a little bit on that because I think it's kind of hard for them to take their own little hand and pat themselves on the back and say, oh, I'm such a good mom. I've worked so hard today. And and so it's and then they feel bad about saying to somebody else, I need some affirmation and encouragement today. So, so how do they how do they give cues to, to their family and or friends or maybe even their own mom while they're mothering younger ones? Hey, you know, I just need some daily encouragement or do they go look for it? Like, you know, maybe a daily devotion or by watching a certain show that gives them encouragement. I mean, what, where do they look for these things? Well, I think in in a lot of different ways. One is they can listen to your show, Jenny. Oh, thank <laughs> you for the plug. Tips. Yeah, and encouragement. Well, it's true. You have to kind of feed, get inspiration. You might get it by following a blog. You might get it by listening to a show. You might get it by reading a daily devotional, reading a good book on on just self care and moms. But I'm going to tell you, a lot of it comes out of conversation. Like we talk to people all the time, and I think we need to be aware of giving an affirmation to others. Like I make it a point, say I'm in Target shopping, I see a mom just really frustrated, but she's holding it together. Mm -hmm. I will walk up to her total stranger, and I'll say, you know, you're doing a great job as a mom in that moment. You know, what a great job. Or, you know what, I, I know it's frustrating to you, but I like how you're, you know, not giving in to that child's little tantrum. So I'm, I am really get out of my box, yeah. and I go up, and I see a struggling mom, and I give an affirmation. I might drop what I'm doing not having kids anymore, but I might see a mom struggling with, uh, in fact, it happened the other day. I was in the grocery store. It was twins nap time in the stroller, uh, had a struggle checking out at the grocery store. I walked over, and I said, how can I help? Can I push your groceries out to the car for you? And she was embarrassed, said, oh, it's nap time. And I said, I understand. I know nap time. Let me see if I can help. So that's that's a way of encouraging. I think when we're sitting around as moms talking about our kids, we have to be aware of our own words and our own encouragement. Are we sitting around complaining or are we building each other up? And I think that's important. You know what? We catch each other and we really support each other in building up, saying positive things, seeing the good in our situations and in our circumstances. Yeah, and it's okay. And applauding. Yeah. It's okay to tell our kids and our, our husband, too. Not not sort of syrupy, Pollyanna, like, just all day long, I need you to tell me how great I am. But rather just say, oh, it just, if instead of giving me a foot rub today, will you just tell me something that I did that, that mattered to you today or something? It's okay to ask for that. And now that we, you've told our whole audience, maybe others of us can be cognizant of the fact that moms need this. So when we're out and about, we can give the kind of encouragement that you're talking about. Um, we have yeah. to go to a break here. But would you mind staying on for just a couple more minutes after the break? so I can um, expand a little bit more on some research that I read and, and get your feedback? I'd be glad to. Okay, wonderful. Mary Morgan, licensed family counselor, marriage and family therapist, and she knows what she's talking about it, and she's been doing it for years. Okay, so I picked this little song for you. It's J.J. Heller, and uh, she's been on the show a couple of times, a uh, musical artist, and she's fabulous, and she wrote it all about motherhood, and I thought, oh, I'm going to give this as a little gift to moms today. When we come back, we're going to have a couple more tips for you about what a mom really needs, what you need to do for yourself, and uh, yeah, a little bit more about the Neon Moms 5K, too. Stay tuned.
Hey moms, busy day at work? Non-stop carpooling and cooking meals? Are you still wondering how you will have time to finish your degree? At Colorado Christian University, we have online and on-site options that work with your busy schedule. Our courses are only five weeks long, and the best part is you only take one course at a time, still allowing time for other important things in life. Don't wait. Find out about the CCU difference and earn your degree today. Call us at 303-963-3300 or visit us at adulted.ccu.edu. Here at Channel Mom, we want to love, coach, and encourage any mom who could use a little support. Hi, this is Jenny from Channel Mom. If you're a mother, I know you work so hard for your family, but sometimes you need somebody to work for you. And that's why Channel Mom gives back to moms, not just through our live radio show and our podcast, but also through Channel Mom Outreach in prisons, homeless shelters, and home meetings made for moms. We want to hear your story and feature you on the radio and beyond. So reach out to us on social media at Channel Mom or email us at channel mom at gmail if you've got something to say mom and watch us every week on facebook live it's channel mom radio with jenny dean schmidt we're here for you okay a little technical misunderstanding i do want to play that song um it's jj heller and it's all about being a mom i just want to remind you of your importance and the joy of being a mom from this little song by jj heller There it is, and it's uh, you, you can look it up. Um, it's online, I mean, on YouTube, and it's all about as your child grows, the way in which uh, it's an amazing thing to be a mom. Difficult sometimes, but also quite amazing. And I loved the song, and I found it, and I wanted to play it for you. Okay, so we are back, and we're talking about things that moms really need. And I and I kind of did some research this week to say I really want to gift moms with. Um, knowing what it is that they can ask for and what it is they need to make sure they have in their lives so they can be good moms t- for their children because they're taking care of themselves. So we've already listed a couple. Number one, self-care. You need to exercise and sleep and um, eat right and all those things. And maybe you don't have the energy to exercise right now, so give yourself a break. Maybe you need to rest more. Maybe you need to sleep more. That's fine. No judgment here, but just try to take care of yourself. Number two was you need friends. You need girl time. You need woman time. Uh, it's proven that if you don't get it, it's like taking up smoking. Or not exercising. Uh, So you need girl time. That's number two. Then our friend Mary Morgan came on to tell us that you also need affirmation and encouragement. And that can feel kind of needy and whiny. Like, I just need to be affirmed today. Actually, I need that in spades because I am built the way that I am and I need that sort of thing. Uh, But, and sometimes I just have to tell myself, (laughs) Jenny, you're so great. And, and yeah, that I just, you'll hear me in the grocery store saying things like that. Uh, But, but I, I, we were backing it up with some research and I want to bring Mary in on this part. Um, I looked at some research online about the, the different things that women and moms need. And I went to a couple of websites, by the way, I found out that on Pinterest, there is, um, I think you just have to hashtag it. Every mom needs on Pinterest. I'm not sure how that, I'm not very Pinteresty to be honest, but it's an every mom needs section and it's all these different links to all these different, like just recipe stuff and stuff for your emotional health and stuff you need to do at your job. I mean, it's amazing stuff. So, um, I, I you should look that up on Pinterest, but I also went to another website, uh, Jordan Gray. And he was recommending the things or or noting some research about the seven things that women, and this includes a lot of moms, what they need. And they were, and and this is where I want your advice, Mary. Number one, they need in a relationship, and that includes motherhood and being married or even not married in a friendship or whatever, to feel loved, to feel safe, to feel seen, to be allowed to nurture And as Mary has already said, to feel appreciated. There were a couple more, but they weren't as applicable. But I thought, Mary, um, we've had the president of MOPS on, Mandy Arioto, and she's talked about how when she goes out and about in her own little scientific research, she has discovered that one of the most common things that mothers say to her is they feel like they're not enough. 
They just feel like they can't do it all. They're not enough. They're not living up to the standards they need to live up to to be a good mom. And when you list all those things, that probably means they're feeling unloved or they're feeling unseen or they're feeling unappreciated. So, so talk to me a bit more about how a mom can find that. I think a lot of moms do that. I think just a lot of women do that, period, because we compare. We yeah. get into a lot of comparison. And, and, you know, the sad part is now that we've got social media, everybody's like putting the pictures up and, and sharing those magical moments that they have yeah. with, with their children. And so I think we forget that there's a whole nother side to the parenting component as it is the, you know, the perfect picture moment. And so I, I think we get into comparing and then we feel that only feeds the inadequacy. And, and in my world, the best place to be is, you know what, God helped me to be the mom that I'm called to be today. Yeah. In this moment, yeah. in this time. And then there's no comparison. I'm not looking at my neighbors. I'm not looking at my friends. I'm not looking at even how my mother mothered me. I'm looking at here's my number one ministry just in this moment, just in today. God, help me to be the mom I'm supposed to be. Right. And that keeps me as a woman, and I think that helps a lot of moms to not compare, to not feel that inadequacy, and to count, you know what, here's what I was able to do today. Here's what I was able to do. I was able to spend time with each of my children. I was able to put a special treat in my child's lunch. I was able to read my child a story. And and I think that, that kind of comes up with that encouragement and that affirmation. Yeah. I have to validate for, you know what, I did do a good thing today. Yeah. I, did, I did 50 things wrong, but you know what, I did two really good things today. Yeah, I love that you said that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you go, but I want to sum it up. Um, before I do let you go. And and that is, I'm glad you said the thing about comparison and social media, because that was going to be my final tip is, is discipline yourself. This is, this is where a little work comes in. Discipline yourself for two things. Number one is shut off the bad words to yourself. Just shut them off. Just say I, literally like a light switch. Like I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm going to think about something yeah. good I did today instead of something bad. The other thing is shut off social media. If you find you're getting jealous or comparative in a way that makes you feel bad. I literally just have to walk away. If I say her house looks bigger, her kids look better in this light or she, whatever it is, she looks, you know, fabulous in, in front of that boat that she got, whatever, you know, we compare and we compare and we compare. We think we should be more. We have to remind ourselves. God gave us the children we were supposed to have and the light. Life we're supposed to have the house we're supposed to have it doesn't mean we cannot work for more but but be content with what you have now so mary morgan licensed family therapist you are at red tent counseling and how do people find you uh i'm located in parker colorado and what's the website Best way uh website www.theredtent.org awesome mary thank you so much for being with us thanks for letting me chair and talk with you oh our pleasure take care Bye, Jenny. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go. This is my big... I was not a cheerleader in high school. I was, um, what is it called? A homecoming princess. Wasn't the queen. Was a princess. Wasn't great enough to be the queen. So, oh, thank you. (laughs) Thank you, Chad. See, that's why Chad was promoted. That's what I'll call it. To do my show, not really promoted. But, all right. So, here's the deal. Neon Moms 5K. If you like this show, if you like what we're trying to do for you and other moms, I'd be blessed to meet you. You can come up to me and say, you promised me you'd give me a hug and tell me thank you and you're doing a great job. So you can come up to me at the event and do that. Tomorrow night, Neon Moms 5K at Clement Park, 530. You can buy your tickets online at channelmom.com or our Facebook page. I want to mention all of our sponsors. CCU, College of Adult and Continuing Education. They focus particularly on moms, on accommodating your schedule and giving you credit for life experience. So you should check them out. CCU, College of Adult and Continuing Education, including their online stuff. West Bowles Community Church, of course, 94.7 The Word. Aspen Ridge Recovery, who do great things for people who are struggling with addiction. Some of them are going to be there tomorrow, I believe. Premier Mechanical. If you're listening on Saturday, it means today. Uh, Checkmate Moving and Storage. And by the way, Premier Mechanical has bought some Elitch tickets uh, so that next year you can uh, go to Elitch's for free for the biggest team that shows up. So that is a big thanks to Premier Mechanical. So Checkmate Moving and Storage, Randa and Company Properties with Jody Randa, the Tom Walker Agency of American Family Insurance, 
uh, Dania Guth at Keller Williams Foothills Realty. And by the way, I'm mentioning all these people because think about this. They're supporting motherhood. They care about moms. So if you want to do business in any of these areas, think, think of these sponsors. Monkey Business and Body Armor Sports Drinks will be handing out, I believe, full-size drinks again this year. That was fabulous last year. We all got full-size drinks. So remember those folks' names and uh, do business with them because they are supporting us. By the way, there's also a virtual runner's option. If you believe in what we're doing but you just can't show up for the the run, if you go to racentry.com or you you sign up through one of our other uh, uh, pages, you know, like I said, on on Facebook or channelmom.com, you can sign up as a virtual runner, and and that fee will go to us and support our ministry. We are a 501c3, so go up and sign to be a virtual runner if you would like to do so to support us or at channelmom.com. Do whatever you like. We'd be blessed. Okay, thanks for all you do as a mom. God bless you. Have a beautiful weekend. here on Channel Mom Radio, and if you believe the media should be doing more to support moms and encourage families, then why don't you come alongside the efforts of Channel Mom? We'd like to offer you our partner package today. We'll send you a Channel Mom's Best Tips for Moms, as well as a beautiful bling t-shirt when you sign up to be a partnering monthly donor at ChannelMom.com. We live in a world that demeans the importance of moms and belittles the value of family. Research shows the family is breaking down in America. But Channel Mom aims to stop the family breakdown, starting with the moms. We depend on our donors to help us, to put this show on the air, and to do outreach for mothers on the ground, supporting them in their parenting, marriages, addiction issues, and more. So become a Channel Mom partner today and be a part of the change you want to see for mothers and families. Just go to ChannelMom.com and click on Give to CM, and you'll see our Donate button there. From the moms at Channel Mom, thank you. And may God bless each mom and her family.